The cutting chain on your chainsaw is made up of a series of teeth and drive links that are riveted together. As you use the saw, the teeth will become dull. They will be damaged if they strike a rock or a nail. The drive links will wear as they run through the guide bar. They will wear faster if dirt gets into the guide bar's groove or if the saws run without bar oil. The drive links can be damaged if the chain comes off the bar while using the saw. Replacing the cutting chain is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the old cutting chain from my chainsaw. Before I attempt to remove the chain, I need to make sure that I release the chain brake. Now I'll loosen the two nuts that secure the side cover. And I'll loosen the chain tensioner. Now I can go ahead and remove the nuts and the side cover. Now I'll remove the chain from the bar. I'll pull the bar away from the saw. And now I can remove the chain from the clutch. Now I can install the new chain. First, I'll place it around the clutch drum. Now I'll reinstall the bar to the saw. Let's place it over the studs. And next, I'll reinstall the drive links into the groove on the bar. I'll work the drive links around the tip of the bar. And then once it's in place, I'll pull the bar forward. Making sure that the chain aligns with the groove in the bottom of the bar. Now I'll reinstall the side cover. I place it over the studs and then I'll move the bar forward or backward until it aligns with the tensioner. Once the side cover is in place, I'll reinstall the nuts, but I'll leave them just hand tight. To tension the chain, I'll first lift the nose of the bar up. Then I'll turn the tensioning screw, and I want to tension the chain until I can pull the chain away from the bar, but I don't want to be able to pull the drive links away from the bar. And that looks about right. And now I can finish by tightening up the bar nuts. And that's all it takes to replace the chain on your chainsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 